Every now and again, you need a little extra lighting in the places where it matters most that sometimes is not illuminated by the RV manufacturer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use LED puck lights to put lighting in cool places that really enhances your camper van experience. We cut away to a segment in my What's Up Wednesday YouTube live show. Happens every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central, to get the full van tip. Let's roll into it now. Here's the van tip. Let me zoom in for you. This has to do about light, lighting. And what I discovered is there is never enough light in the right places. This is an example. This is my pantry cupboard under my Murphy bed. And this is with the hall lights on. You can't see anything beyond those first couple of items. So what I do is I get the flashlight out and now I'm holding the flashlight, fumbling around, trying to find the one thing that's in my pantry storage cabinet thing. I store everything there, toilet paper and baggies and cornmeal, apparently. <laughs> um, another example of why poor lighting is not great. This is a picture of me in my Travato bathroom. You can see where the light is. It's behind me. And when you're trying to do something, focus on your face. That is the experience you got to deal with. Turning on the hall lights really doesn't affect it much. It's really kind of annoying. I don't know why these RV makers put the light where it doesn't belong, like on top of a toilet. It should be by the sink and mirror. So I got to thinking, why don't I put some lights where they belong? So what I did is I, when I'm trying to solve a problem, I'm mentally thinking about it and I'm wandering around the store. In this case, it's Walmart. I'm in the lighting section and I land on these LED lights. I wanted LED, I wanted battery power. I didn't really know what I was looking for. It turns out they're called puck lights. I gotta say that really carefully. <laughs> and what I did is I bought one to experiment with, and that would be the one on the right, the $8.86 uh, version. Um, there was a, a $10 version by GE, but what excited me about the Walmart brand was two key words. And let me zoom in here for you. Soft white, number one. Number two, dimmable. Number three, it came with batteries. And these things take three batteries per light. These guys, the GE version, didn't come with batteries at all. So you'd have to spend another, you know, quite a bit of dough just to get batteries. Thank you for including batteries, Walmart. And on the back of the package, it said it has a 60-minute auto shutoff. So you're not running your batteries down if you forget to turn your lights out. Now you're going like, yeah, Scott, that's that's pretty good stuff, right? <laughs> but let me show you this, because I was pretty amazed at how different the lighting was in these conditions. Hey, if we are meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van, class B RVing travel experience. You want to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos on camper van tours, camper van products, camper van tips like you've just seen. And here's the first I want to show you. It's like, wow before and after. I have this mounted above my shower, above the mirror, and that's now what I look like in the morning, doing my teeth. It's shaving. Couldn't see anything before. So much better. How about this one? I put one in the pantry. What a difference. I can't tell you. Frustration goes to zero. I think I have one more for you here. I actually put one in my galley. So there's the puck light by the red arrow, and that's the two non-dimmable LED lights that are switched through 12 volt. There's a switch right above, you can see that. But I like mood lighting, you're probably familiar with that. And what I wanted to do is create mood lighting, and I had kind of two options. This, which sucks when you want mood lighting, or in my case, the far left image is just the night light with prints, but I didn't put enough light on the countertop if I wanted to do something in dimly lit light. So the middle picture is that puck light dimmable at about, I'd say about 40% strength. And the one on the right is at full strength. I cannot tell you what a difference it has made um, throughout the van. And I've even put one in my bedroom because again, if I just want a little mood lighting in the corner, I don't want the big reading lights on by the cargo doors. The blue lights aren't enough. I just want a little mood lighting. Um, and that's what I roll with. And I'm telling you, 
if you haven't done this, where's my cursor? Um, it's just the it's just the most amazing thing. So I'm curious if you have done this, what have been your results? And if you haven't done it, here's what I'm recommending for you. Let me zoom in for you so you can see this. Um, they can get a six pack. I initially bought two, and they went back back and got a six pack. Um, it's nine bucks. It's a two pack. It's dimmable. Has batteries. 60 minute auto off. And there's the item number for you. I get no compensation for this because I'm just wanting to share a van tip that somebody clued me on about a year ago, didn't take their advice. And now I'm like, wow, this is so great. And that's my van tip for you tonight. What do you think? If you like in-person events, check out my website, gosmalllivelarge.com. We have events there, in-person events where we do live Q and A's. Um, we even do a little bit of teaching and definitely do a little bit of van fellowship. I'm a full-time traveler in my Winnebago Travado 59 GL. And what we do here is help you be a better RVer, whether you're no time still researching, part-time taking cool trips, or even full-time travel like myself. Thanks for watching.